Hey guys, Angelo here. Today I wanted to show you how to add a video to an InDesign project. Using the interactive tools once again, I'm gonna show you how to import a video, an MP4 file into an interactive InDesign layout and then publishing online or exporting as a PDF interactive file. So let's get started. I have here an interactive e-cookbook and I've left, left a space up top here where I want to add a video. I'm also gonna add a cover image to the video that I'm going to place on this page. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways of doing that. First, let's add the video. So I can go to File, Place, and this is the video that I want to import, faux underscore main dot mp4. I've already saved this as an mp4 file. Make sure that it is an mp4 for quality and functionality purposes when you publish this online or export it as an interactive PDF. And I've saved this at 720p. So it's not too large and it's not gonna make my, my InDesign file too large either. Especially if I'm adding multiple videos to a document. So I'm gonna hit open and I have a loaded cursor with the video. Now I can drag out, I can actually drag out a frame um, the size of the video that will be on the page but what I like to do is just click on the page let it let it just uh, import like that and then I resize it from here so I hold shift and command and then drag in one of the frames reason being oftentimes if you try to drag out a frame uh, the the poster inside the frame becomes too large um, and then you're gonna have some difficulties when you're trying to resize it. So what I do is I just click on the pasteboard and then resize it that way. And so I have it in the space that I left and I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger. So I'm holding shift command or shift control on windows. And then I'm just gonna center it in this frame and make it maybe just a little bit bigger. So as you can see, this, is, this serves two purposes. If I'm publishing this online, it acts as a main image because the cover on the video acts as a main image. But when you click on it, obviously it's a video. Now the panel that I want to work with here is going to Window, Interactive, and Media. And I already have mine here. Um, or maybe I don't. So let's, let's open that again. Interactive and Media. I'm just gonna pull this over. Now you can see nothing's happening, but once with my selection tool, I click on the video, you can see that it's appearing here in a preview mode and I can click the play button to play it. I can pause it, okay? And this is important, I'm just gonna pause it for a sec. I want you to focus in on these settings down below because these are important when you're, when you're publishing it. So do you want this to play on page load? If you do, check, check it on. I don't because I want the experience to be someone clicking on the video and then it's going to play. The other option is for publish online is for it to loop. Now I also don't want this uh, to loop so I'm not going to check that but those are options available to you. Now because I've paused this in this certain area, as you can see, watch my, my preview or my thumbnail on my cover here. Once I hit this refresh button because the poster Think of the poster as the thumbnail or the cover of your video. Now I have it set to from current frame. I'm gonna click this refresh button and you'll see that it updates on my video. Now you can kind of test out by dragging this or letting it play. While it's playing, you can also refresh. So if you have a good eye of where you want that to be while it's playing, um, you can play it again and then if you find a spot, just hit refresh and it'll refresh, but it's probably easier if you pause it and then kind of maneuver it and um, just click through the, the timeline here and find a spot that you may like and then just hit refresh and you'll see that it refreshes. So that's from a current frame. Now, if I wanted a custom cover, so I've already made one in Photoshop and you want to size that at 1280 pixels by 720 pixels um, and you're going to save it as a JPEG or a PNG and that's what I did. So I'm going to go to poster and I, I do want 
choose an image. So I wanna choose an image that I've already created. And I'm gonna do that. And right here, video cover. Now I got a little bit more creative. I've, I've added the photo in and I've added some text in Photoshop. And I'm gonna hit open. And you can see now that it's updating and you don't get that. Let me just do Command Z for a second here. Do you notice the black um, frame or the black bar above and below my image? Um, sometimes you can't get around that. So if you size it properly in Photoshop um, and you just open it, you can see now it fits nicely. So if you're, if you're saving a poster from a current frame, you might get some black bars above and below depending on uh, the image. But if you size it correctly in Photoshop, then you're not gonna run into that problem. Now what I, what I can do now, because I already have my video and my cover set, I can click on the preview spread EPUB icon down below. There's my video. You can see there's a player there. So I'm gonna click that. And there's my video playing. Now this is a very short video. Um, and you can see it playing. It's only seven seconds long. You can adjust the volume here and you can play it again if you want. You can pause it. So that's the nice thing about this is there, there's a built-in player that you can um, adjust the settings as the video is going. Okay, so it's working. Now it's time to publish it online. Okay, so now that our video is set and we have it on our page, we can publish this online. And I'm gonna go do that by up top here. I'm gonna click publish online and click that button. Just name your file. It'll probably show up as untitled or it'll show up as what you named the document. Um, you, can, you can name it something else if you want. You can give it a description. Um, if you've published this online more than once, you can publish it um, as a new document, but if you've published one that you just want to revise, just click update existing document. Now, because I've already done that, I'm just going to do that again, update existing document. And uh, what I want to do in this case is you can, you can publish all the, the, the pages together, but I just want page one because I have a three page uh, document here. And so I'm just going to do page one and you can publish it as a single page by page or as a spread. I'm gonna choose a single and let's go ahead and just publish this. Yes, I'm sure I do wanna override my previous one. And so it's uploading now and let's, let's give it a go. So I'm gonna hit play and there you go. It's working just fine. And again, the player is there. You can pause it, you can adjust the volume, you can kind of sidetrack or move forward, fast forward or re rewind. You can also go into full screen mode if you want. And to get out of that, just hit escape. Um, so that's good. So you can see the video when it's published online is working properly. So I'm just gonna minimize that and go back to my, my document here. Now the good thing about this is that the video also works for interactive PDF. So if I want it, if I want to export this as a PDF, just go to File, Export, and it's going to default most likely to Adobe PDF Print. If you export as this mode, the interactivity, the video will not work. So I'm going to change it to interactive, and let's just save it. Uh, on my desktop is fine. And then I'm just gonna hit save. You have some other options here that you can look uh, look through. Um, I do wanna open it in full screen mode. So if that's not checked on, go ahead and check. It. If it's checked off, check it on because when I open the PDF, it's gonna automatically go into full screen, which is what I want. Um, so range one is fine. And then I'm going to hit export. gonna say this document is trying to open in full screen mode remember my choice and let's hit yes and now that we're in a PDF 
player now let's go ahead it's gonna say click to activate now what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna click that and it's gonna I'm gonna get a pop-up oh no I'm not okay good so there it's working in the PDF player as well so you have a couple options there when you're publishing your work your video you can either publish it online or export it as a PDF interactive and the video will work as well so that is how you add a video and publish it online and for PDF in Adobe InDesign. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.